Hello and welcome back. I'm Tavleen and right now we're discussing the actions tab. Well now the action tab basically allows Finale to take certain critical actions after and during the campaign. So you can set up certain actions to be taken while the campaign is going on and after the campaign ends. So here are these critical uh, actions. Uh, number one is uh, after the campaign, so product stock status. So do you want to show the product stock status as in stock or out of stock or do you want to do nothing about it, right? So let us say you're running a time limited campaign and uh, there's a limited stock size on that campaign you're only supposed to sell five units with it, it, during the span of the campaign so what do you want to do after the campaign ends so maybe you want to say well show the product as out of stock right and hide the art to add to cart button right so these this could be um, a proper use case uh, where you're running a scarcity based campaign and after the campaign ends you want to hide uh, the add to cart button and you want to show the stock status is out of stock now, what there could be a case where you want uh, the stock status should be to be shown as in stock and the add to cart button to be shown after the campaign ends. So let me tell you what that case could be. Let's say you're launching a new product, right? And um, uh, so. Uh, the product is not available and uh, you're going to be launching it let's say on, on on a set date right now after the campaign ends you want the product stock status to be shown as in stock right and the add to cart button to then become visible whereas during the campaign in that use case you would like to show the product stock status as out of stock and the add to cart button to be hidden right so even in case of a back in stock campaign so you've got a product it's going to be restocked after let's say 10 days right so you're running a campaign you're running a countdown timer for 10 days on the 10th day the product is hitting back on your shelf right so in that case after the campaign you want in stock and uh, add to cart button to become visible and uh, during the campaign you want it to show out of stock message and you do not want people to add the item to the cart so you want to hide the button because during the campaign uh, it's a restocking campaign so while the while the campaign is going on while the timer is running the button will be hidden and the stock status will be shown as out of stock so these are the functionalities that actions give you right Right? you can uh, decide what you would like to do after and during the campaign when you select do nothing here uh, well then uh, the uh, you know the stock status and the add to cart button visibility will remain as it was before the campaign started right so it's not going to change uh, if you select do nothing during the campaign and even after the campaign ends it will do nothing about it so that's for do nothing so these are certain critical functionalities that the actions tab give you and uh, well these functionalities also make your task a hell lot easy because you do not have to go back into the system after the campaign ends to perform certain actions so that's it that was about actions tab thank you so much i really hope that you enjoyed learning about it thank you for tuning in wish you happy selling